kind of cold sitting over here by my door. Hey vapors and vapies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Inakin Chroma. <laughs> Look at the eye taste chroma. This is trickery. I almost thought it was an all in one. I was so excited, but it's not. It's more of like a receded tank deck, but here it is. This is a 75 watt TC device. Looks like we have an adapter here. Here is the little device. It is little, it's a 75 millimeters. Under that, we have all of the goodies that it comes with. Looks like we have an, a different type of drip tip an extra stainless steel coil, the USB charge cord, and uh, and the user's manual, and some extra O-rings. And I'm not 100% sure what this little tool is for. So you can get this kit for around $50 to $60 depending on where you shop. It does have a built-in 2000 milliamp hour battery and an Athon temperature controlled chipset. It can do wattage mode or temperature mode for nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. When in TC mode, it can go from 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. So the tank sits down in the device like so. Here is the slipstream tank, and that's where it sits down in there. And then you can also use that adapter to have whatever uh, atomizer you want on top. Here is the fire button, the regulatory buttons, the charge port, and the screen is actually located on the side here. So one, two, three. Oh, was it already on? No, it wasn't. Okay. And it can, and then it displays the wattage, battery life, ohms, voltage, and a puff counter. And when you try to fire, it says check atomizer when there's no atomizer on here. Because it does have a couple different protection features. It has dry hit detection and prevention. It has precision temperature control and balanced even coil heat up. It has ultra low external heat generation and ultra low standby power consumption. The slipstream tank is two mils and it is a top fill with a top airflow. So let's go ahead and just fill it up. I'm actually having some difficulties getting the cap off. You're supposed to push down and turn to get the cap off and then um, the coil comes out with it and then you fill to the max fill line that it has indicated on the tank. But I am struggling. Like I am not being able to get this off very easily and it's getting pretty frustrating. It has vape while charging technology. It has an OLED screen and it adjusts by 0.5 increments in watts. The recommended coil ranges for nickel are 0.1 ohm to 0.2 ohm. For titanium, it's 0.1 ohm to 0.5 ohm. And for stainless steel, it's 0.2 ohm to 1 ohm. But 0.1 ohm is the minimum resistance for this device. Now, if I could just get the cap off. Okay, guys, so after struggling with the slipstream tank and trying to get the top off, I decided to go try another slipstream tank that I had. And I'm almost 100% positive that the one that came with this chroma was defective. It was making this clicking noise when I was trying to un screw the top cap whereas this black slipstream it came right off easy peasy lemon squeezy so I'm quite irritated with the slipstream right now and it better vape fantastically otherwise I am really angry <laughs> I'm actually pretty freaking annoyed right now. Oh, I'm gonna fill it up with this lemon curd flavor by Waffle. It is so good. It's a lemon waffle flavor. Oh, well, we don't need that. But to me, it, it really tastes like a lemon pound cake. We're gonna go to the max fill line and no more than that because I don't need overflowage here. We have a 0.8 ohm canthal coil in here and it does come with a 0.5 stainless steel coil. So now that we got that filled up, we're gonna go ahead and pop it down down in here. Ah, finally, we can get this vaping show on the road. It is reading it as a 0.83 ohm, and we are going to, what are we gonna vape it at? I guess we'll vape it at 20 watts because what do you even vape a 0.8 ohm at? I have not gone really much higher than a 0.5 in so long, and I vape stainless steel most of the time, or nichrome, and you can vape those a lot higher than canthal, but this is a canthal. So, we'll try it at 20 watts. I mean, as of right now, before I vape for the very first time on the Slipstream, my favorite Inakin atomizer is the Axiom. I loved my Axiom. I broke it and just have not got around to buying another one because I love my all-in-one so much and because of how much struggle this Slipstream tank gave me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but it, like I said, it better vape fabulously, marvelously, better vape 
as good or better than the Axiom or I'm gonna be like, no, I hate you. <laughs> so this is sort of like an all-in-one. It's not a traditional all-in-one, so I doubt it's gonna steal my love for the Cup D. And it does have this funky design. It does have this grip material right here, a little lip. So it's really, it really does fit nicely in the hand, and it is really small. I wish I had my should have grabbed my Cup D for a size comparison because I do think this might be a little tiny bit smaller box-wise, but it is it does have this, so this makes it less compact. Than the cup D, but I mean it's not bad. It's definitely not heavy at all. Um, I just wish what like it's funky. It's like a racing. There's like this theme going on that I'm like, <laughs> I'd put a wrap on it. <laughs> but that's just me. Really? Okay, there we go. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the 0.5 in because 0.8 is just not doing it for me. Real quick, I'll show you how to change out the coil. It was a lot easier for me to hold the drip tip and spin the coil off versus trying to hold the airflow ring right here because that just wanted to spin. But the threading just sits right in there. So here's the coil and you just pop it in there and spin. So I am adding the 0.5 stainless steel coil on right now because that's more of my vaping style and I feel like to accurately give an opinion on this I need to be vaping in my preferred range because 0.8 is just not not enough for me so now when it asks me same coil nickel titanium or stainless steel I'm going to push stainless steel you can vape stainless steel in wattage or in temperature mode. If you hold down the plus and minus button at the same time, you get the puff counter as well as the resistance of the coil to like the fifth place. So this coil is 0.48885. So that's if you just hold, if you just click them, then you get that. If you press and hold, then it'll flip the screen for left or right handed person. If you press the fire button and the minus button in temperature mode, it will let you adjust the wattage. If you press the fire and plus button in temperature mode, it'll switch to wattage. To adjust the watts or temperature, you want to hold, press and hold the plus or minus button until the number is flashing. And then you can adjust in 0.5 increments when you're in wattage. Okay, I'm doing my stainless steel 0.5 coil in wattage and I'm starting at 45 watts. Watch. <laughs> 45 watts and we'll see how she goes. I am going to start with the airflow all the way open. That's usually how I tend to like my airflow. Just wanted a baby vape there and it's really actually chucking the clouds because it's like it's force feeding me the vapor. Clouds, bitch. Okay. Okay. The slip stream, and gosh, I'm so tongue tied, is kind of redeeming itself. The chroma is kicking out the vapor like hardcore. The flavor will get there. I cannot say that the flavor is great right off the bat because I always feel like. You need to like go through a tank full to really soak in that cotton. Ooh, so much vapor. I really feel like I wouldn't want to go much higher with this. I will go to 50 since that's what I normally vape my cup D at. I usually vape it at 50 with a 0.5 nichrome or a 0.5 stainless steel. Uh, either or, I prefer both of the, either one of those. I haven't actually been on Canthal for a long time anyway, but we'll do 50, but I think that it might be a little too much for me. Man, it's a lot of vapor. So it's not too much, but I'm so picky when it comes to the temperature of my vape. I don't like a warm cloud at all. So I'm actually gonna take it down to 40 and see what that's like. Cause 45 was like, hello. Oh, do you see my little kitty? My little Santa hello kitty. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just, there's so much vapor. That is, that. I think that's where I am liking it the best so far. 40 watts, the vape was nice and cool, still had hella cloud production. Shh. 
The flavor is really getting there. It's so good. I love this lemon curd waffle flavor. I, it's too soon to tell, but like, I really, really, really like Inican coils more than any other brand of coil out there. So this might, and this is a big might because I need to use it for a while. And I'll be doing a one month update for sure. This might steal my love for the Cup D. It isn't aesthetically where I want it to be. I definitely prefer the look of the Cup D over this, but that vapor production though, and the flavor, I just, the coils, like that's what's gonna get me, if anything. So <laughs> we'll see in a month's time, I will come back and I will let you know. Or if you follow me on Twitter and Snapchat, you might know before then. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it just has so much vapor. Mm, yummy vapor. So, okay, the slipstream totally redeemed itself just because I got a defective one. It vapes like a champ. I love this little combo. I will leave a link below to where you can check it out if you want to. If you have this, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys, especially any Team Cup D or Team Kneebox people out there because this is like a step closer to an all-in-one for Inakin. Like, Inakin, give me a true all-in-one. Give me a true all-in-one, please. Because this is close, but it's two mils. That's another problem. I had a hard time adjusting from 10 mils to five with the knee box and the cup D, and two mils is not gonna cut it for me. I, I vape way more than two mils a day, so Inakin, Give me a true all-in-one. Give me a five mil tank or more. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you have it up your sleeve because I really, really want it because I really, really like Inakin coils. And usually Inakin has been like my favorite brand and they come up with the greatest and come out with the greatest devices in my opinion. But the knee box stole my love so quickly like the all-in-one thing to where I became you know, in love with the Kanger products that they came out with the all-in-one and then they improved it with the company. So like, Inakin, if you are listening, give me a true all-in-one. I would love that. I would love to have that on my channel. I would love to try that out because I know that you can take that bar, that standard that I have for the all-in-ones already and probably just like pfft, blow it through the roof. So anyways, good, good shot. Very close to an all-in-one, but it's a, you know, it's the inset tank deck. It's the receded, submerged tank, whatever you want to call it. I need a true all-in-one because I need more than two mils. But for now, like, this would be a great, like, step into all-in-ones or compact devices for someone who doesn't vape a lot because two mils, who, I mean, who blows through two mils? Like, I'm actually just rambling now because I'm getting excited at the thought of Inakin putting out a true all-in-one. But two mils, two mils is not enough for this vapor right here. So that's it. Uh, I will link below. Let me know what you guys think. If you've tried this in the comments below, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up for Chroma. Give this video a thumbs up if you want Inakin to put out a true all-in-one. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things, where to get this, where to get my favorite e-liquid mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below. One more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia, and thank you so much for watching.